Hi everyone, welcome to prompt number 30. Today's ant is sitting down on the page. And with that, let's just get into it. Oh no. We have bedroom, kitchen, dining room, and bathroom all in one picture. Let's see what I do with it. If you couldn't tell, I was super intimidated by this prompt and I was throughout the whole illustration process. I'll talk about the first sketch later because it's the one that I chose. So in the second sketch, I took the same concept, but I took a different viewpoint. I guess she's washing dishes or something and you are hanging out in the sink and you can see the other rooms behind her. In the third sketch, I thought I would try to go for something a little bit more witchy because my characters were witches in these houses. So I went for a different shape and had a round room and kind of had the objects a little bit more witchy. But in the end, I was drawn to the first sketch. It might be because this really reminded me of my ant illustrations, which I was so tempted to do because having a bunch of ants in a house from this view would have been perfect and is probably something I will go back and revisit. But I figured I need to do something not ants twice in a row and I wanted to do something that wasn't as complicated and time consuming as ants. Boy, was I wrong. I don't know why I thought drawing a whole interior of a house would be less time consuming than my ant illustrations. But yeah, this took a long time. Not quite as long as the ants, but yes, it, it was a time consuming illustration. However, super, super pleased with the results. This is again, another one of my top favorite prompts because the results are just they're so cute. It's, I don't know. I've never illustrated a whole house like this before. I've always been very intimidated, super duper duper scared of backgrounds. But for some reason, I just was really into this. It might be because the whole perspective is the same, which might be considered cheating. I don't normally put this many details into my illustrations. And I think these prompts have really helped me grow in that aspect. And looking at this illustration compared to my first five prompts, it's such an improvement and it's really nice to go back and look at. Okay. Okay. Enough of being cheesy and corny. I think something else that makes this illustration so cute and so appealing is because of the size. I drew this on an eight by 10 as usual. And because there's so many details in here, everything ended up so teeny weeny and it's so cute. Sometimes I think about drawing bigger and I think one of the main things that keeps me from doing that is because any larger and I would have to scan it in two pieces and that's really hard to Photoshop together. So eight by 10 it is. Okay, I should talk more about the illustration itself. So this originally started off as sort of a one bedroom apartment sort of thing, but then I felt really weird having the toilet and tub just in the room next to the kitchen or next to her bedroom or something. I even tried to put a cute partition screen next to it, but it just wasn't doing it for me. The toilet right next to the kitchen. Oh God, no. So I erected the bathroom wall between the kitchen and the bathroom. And there's supposed to be a wall between the bathroom and the bedroom, but I didn't want to block off all of that room to illustrate. So just pretend there's an invisible wall there. Kind of like in a video game where they make walls go invisible so you can actually see what you're doing. The reason why I didn't do that for the bathroom in the kitchen is because I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to add a little bit more wallpaper and also have that little towel hanging on the wall. Just a cute little detail. But also I just wanted to draw at least one wall. The kitchen and bathrooms are kind of based off of my own. My kitchen has a lot of red things in it. So I did that. The bathroom also blue based and hardwood floors, but again, lightly based off of. Also a giant stuffed cat. I wish. When I drew this onto the eight by 10 piece of paper, I noticed a lot of white space on the bottom right and the top left and I didn't like it. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to put a little secret in there. I guess it's not so much of a secret to the viewer, 
but more of a secret to anyone living in this world. If you look in her bathroom, you might notice that the rug is a little askew, revealing a secret trap door that leads into the basement where there's dead people. I don't know if it's because of her, or if maybe she doesn't even know it's down there, or she can't open it and it's from the previous witch that lived there. Either way, there's that. And again, when I was working on her bedroom, I noticed that empty space in the top left and decided to put a bookcase in there that looks like it could move to reveal another torture chamber. Mwa ha ha ha. So another prompt finished and I think it's a super success. Did you see the secret I put on the wall? A few references to past videos. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.